hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to share with you a few tips on how to start Start 2021 strong, you need to first evaluate 2020. Now with these questions, you're going to be able to sit down with your team or alone and, team, and then from there you can move forward to 2021 and set goals and plan on how you and your team will be able to achieve it. What are the mistakes you made in your food business? Are you Did you make mistakes with your clients? Did you have issues with delivery? If you had issues with delivery last year, what are you doing this year to avoid having those issues? Are you going to buy your own delivery bike and register it, which might be a chore, but which might also be a better solution? Are you going to collaborate with a delivery company to have a bike assigned to you for an entire day and then you pay them at the end of the month? Um, if you had issues with clients, are you going to hire a customer service personnel to attend to client because trust me cooking and attending to clients can be a lot of work and some of us are not just equipped in emotional intelligence so you have a lot of issues with clients so it is better for you to hire somebody to attend to your clients for you but if you cannot then you just have to learn how to attend to clients in a way that you don't have issues with them another thing is listen to clients when they are complaining about services or meals a lot of times it's not a personal thing it's just they are honestly just not um, filling the meal or the products find out how you can make them happy or how you can improve their experience with your service or your product because if you get one client to be satisfied that client goes to tell other people and that's free advertisement for you and that is good for every food business how much did you make last year if you cannot show how much you made last year then it means you're not keeping record so your goal for 2021 should be keeping records because how can you run a food business successfully without keeping record how you don't know how much your clients paid you don't know how much you took out from it you don't know how much you made as profit that's insanity that's really insanity that is not a business that's the charity organization so for 2021 to start strong get a book or hire an accountant that can help you with your bookkeeping because you cannot run a successful business without keeping records you just can't you can't how strong is your team do you need to hire more people do you need to train them more from do you need to let go of some people a food business is only as strong as their team for real so if you're running a one-man team then you need to work towards hiring people when you have jobs and you need to ensure those people are properly trained and if you have your own team which you've hired you need to ensure that they are doing the job and they can work without supervision as much as possible because you're not going you're not always going to be around to see what they are doing so train your staff in a way that you can work without supervision they can work without you being there and your customers will know the difference what meals or products were your best sellers last year and what did your clients have to say about them? What meals or products didn't sell and got a lot of complaints? What are you doing about them? Do you have to pull them off the shelf? Do you have to take them off your menu? And for the ones that sold well, what, were the, what did the clients have to say? How do you maintain that positive review? You understand? Those are the things you need to take note of. In going forward in 2021 if they loved the coconut rice why did they like it if they loved jello fries why did they like it if they didn't like the epan coco why didn't they like it and what can you do to maintain the quality of service your clients like the quality in the meal and what can you do to improve you're done answering these questions you can now sit down and begin to set your goals for 2021 and this is how you start 2021 strong Thank you for watching.